Welcome back to Primetime News Special. Welcome to the folks watching on OneSpotMedia.com. We begin with news this evening of growing fears in Manchester about the worsening crime wave in that parish. On Thursday, four students were among five persons shot and injured after gunmen opened fire at a group of young men who were playing football in the Greenvale community. The injured were taken to Mandeville Hospital where they are reportedly in stable condition. But as TVJ's Kalisha Williams now reports, there is a call for the government to address the bloodletting in central parishes. In less than 24 hours, the usually quiet parish of Manchester has joined those experiencing a surge in crime and violence. You remain hopeful. Very hopeful. First, a 10-month-old boy was chopped to death by his own father in Mandeville on Thursday morning. Then, by 5 o'clock in the evening on that same day, Bethel Street in the Greenvale community became the latest crime scene. Armed men drove up and sprayed bullets on a group of people at a football match near this shop. We have the regular skirmishes taking place, but shootings like this is something that has been non-existent in the community. Four teenagers were among five persons shot and injured. The Member of Parliament for Manchester Northwestern, Michael Phillips, told us what he heard. I said many of them just came in from school and was uh, playing football. Two of the young men that got shot were just passing and they were at the top of the hill that you're seeing behind me. Uh, when, uh, straight, when shots got them, I mean, the gunmen ran down the youths, down into the lane um, next to us here and continued firing shots. Those teens, students of the Mile Gully, Cross Keys and Belfield High Schools. We spoke with one of the teenager's mother. He wasn't playing football, he was going over the hill somewhere and the bullet catch him up there. I didn't know, we catch him back way just as he was walking up. On Friday morning, the principal of the Malgali High School along with Mr. Phillips visited the students at the Mandeville Hospital. He's in good spirit um, uh, and he has given me some message to care about the school so I have to deliver those. Um, as far as the doctors are concerned, all we could get is that he's in a stable position this time. Meanwhile, according to Michael Phillips, the government's focus on western parishes is contributing to the upsurge in violence in places like Manchester. There have been uh, quite a bit of, of house breaking and shootings around the parish. And, you know, it calls to question uh, the government's crime plan. Uh, there's emphasis on the western side of Jamaica, rightfully. But there, there has to be a national crime plan um, that, that the government has to come with. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.